What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Carmel Bear here. I'm bringing you a uh, another commentary. Uh, been a long time since I put a commentary out. Uh, sorry about that. I've been busy. I'm not the best at this game. I've really been trying to get like some good gameplays stored up on my uh, computer, but God, it's just Black Ops was my first Call of Duty, and I got used to that play style. And now it's just like, whoa, what is this? Because uh, this is a much different play style game. So yeah, just been trying to get used to the groove of Modern Warfare, and I know it's been a while, but uh, I think I've hopefully gotten somewhat there. Now, look at this, who puts a friggin' interchangeable whatever sight on a scar? Look, look at those beautiful iron sights. I mean, they're symmetrical, they're not cluttered. I hate cluttered iron sights, like the, uh, God, the M4A1. God, I can't even use that thing without a red dot. Um, anyway. So the Scar L on this map, you know, if you get into those lobbies where there's nobody running any kind of, uh, air support like takedowns like a stinger or uh nobody's running with sam turrets and you just get good oh my gosh these maps go great and uh man that was not smart i saw like a couple guys was like, oh i'll call in this predator uh they won't notice me but they did i uh, got out of the predator missile and i was dead but i got my reaper so that's all good uh this was a team defender match and those i love team defender i haven't been playing it in a while i got like i played it almost virtually non-stop when i first got this game so that's why you're going to see a lot of Team Defender matches from me. Um, <clears throat> and now, like, with Team Defender, it's much more kind of focused on the strategy of the way it is and the lay of how you're going to go about holding the flag and getting kills to get the double bonus, you know? Like, I just got there. See, I knew that I, I, like, I had the Reaper in my pocket, and I figured, okay, we have the flag. I'll go ahead and call this thing in. It'll get us a good head start, and it'll be hard for them to catch back up. Even if they do, like, destroy us, and we still have the flag, they're not going to do nearly as good. God, that was phenomenal accuracy. Oh. Um, anyway, so, yeah, Team Defender. This, I love this game type, and Village is one of my favorite maps. It's kind of big, you know, because sometimes you feel like you have to run a freaking triathlon just to get to the, where the action is. But once you get there, it's pretty good if you kind of know how to play, uh, play the map, play the objective, stay good behind cover oh can I get it oh dang it I love getting wall bangs that's so fun on team defender you have no idea like I don't think they realize that when they're behind a wooden slat you can see exactly where they are but you know it's just <laughs> the way it is I guess uh, so the scar L I think the attachments I was, running uh, I was running two attachments with a suppressor and extended mags just so that I could have a little more ammo I wasn't running uh, scavenger uh, I was running sleight of hand I do believe yep um uh, I wasn't running very high kill streaks because this is a game where you kind of just want to be a little bit more in the action because you know where they're going to be because if you have a flag they're going to be chasing after that and if you can control those choke points you can sort of like that like you can catch them off guard and you know be a little bit more adept with just your gun instead of just kill streaks. Of course, if you're you know kill streak kind of guy, go for it. You help out your team a lot if you guys have the flag. Um, now <laughs> I had to stay in cover because I realized I called that air snuck in right over my head. Um, I was getting kills though. I killed their flag carrier. See, that's what you want to do. You want to like focus your air support and your concentration on making sure they don't get the flag. And then when you have the flag, it's kind of like a game of like you know you want to guard, but also whilst guarding you're gonna kill them. So it kind of works out if you can get into the groove of you know team defender. So just like you know, I love team defender, like domination free for all. You know, I don't really play kill confirm that much. I kind of will if I'm in the mood to go Moab hunting or whatever. I am not good at getting Moabs, man. I don't run specialist streaks. I don't. I like Assault better. I just like, you know, getting up in that Reaper. Ooh, it's good. Anyway, um, this game was wrapping down, I think. Yeah, I think I finished it off with my Reaper because uh, we had a nice lead and we kind of kept it all match. And um, so, yeah, even, you know, if even if, like, you don't have the flag later on in the game, but you had it a lot at the beginning, then you're probably going to win. That's kind of like, you know, if you start off the game doing really good, then you're most likely going to win a match. So, yeah, guys, uh, Kamal there here. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Um, uh, oh, yeah, finished it off with that nice little, I think it was a double kill, maybe? Uh, probably not, because, you know, it only allows one kill, whoever's closest to the bomb. Oh, there was two of them, but, yep, I only got him. Uh, I wish I could get more kills like that. Oh, well, well uh, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Thanks for watching. Bye.